Hey guys, this is Mrs. Cutting, and this video is Solving Equations Boot Camp. So you are going to need a blank page in the back of your workbook, and probably a calculator and obviously something to write with. Um, so meet me on a blank page. So our title is Solving Equations Boot Camp. And the purpose of this video is to give you some more examples um, and a little more explanation of how to solve equations by writing it out the way that we need to for algebra, okay? Um, please write neatly. Some of you do a wonderful job with these, um, with this, but some of you, you can't even follow your own notes, so just take the time, write neatly, um, don't skip any steps or anything like that because these notes are for you to be able to go back and look back at um, to help you. And if you're skipping steps, well, then it's not going to be very helpful. Okay, um, so at the top, we're going to write our opposites. Because in order to solve an equation, we're going to do the opposite of whatever they did to our variable. And we're going to do it on both sides of the equation. Um, so addition and subtraction are opposites, additions, addition, and subtraction. So if in the original equation they're adding, we want to subtract. If they're subtracting in the original equation, we're going to add. Um, and then multiplication and division are our other opposites. Multiplication division. So if in our original equation they're multiplying, we want to divide. If in our original equation they're dividing, we want to multiply. Okay. Number one is going to be division. So this is going to be your division example. B divided by four equals three. And we're going to start seeing a little bit here and there that um, fraction bar as a division sign. And I know that looks totally weird, but this is a way to write division. So um, we're going to write next to it that this is saying B divided by four equals three. That's what that's saying. That's divided. I don't know what's going on with my handwriting today. Can't win them all. Okay, um, so I'm going to rewrite this down here because once we start solving it, like we end up crossing things out and we want to make sure we have the original equation so that we can read it later. So B divided by 4 equals 3. So they divided, so we want to multiply. So they took mystery number B, they divided it by 4 and got 3. So we're going to undo that division by multiplying by 4. So we're going to go times 4 on this side of my equal sign and times 4 on this side of my equal sign. Okay, um, so if I multiply something by 4 and then divide it by 4, that whole any number divided by itself gives me one thing comes back into play. So this just gives me um, b times 1, which is just going to be b. And then on this side, I have 3 times 4, which is going to be 12. So b times 1 is just b, and 3 times 4 is 12. So that's my answer, b equals 12. But now we need to check it. And we can check our answer um, by making sure that it works when we plug it in for b. So we had b divided by 4 equals 3. And we're saying that 12 um, is what B stands for. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And now I'm going to make sure that that's correct. 12 divided by 4 does give me 3. So we're going to put a check mark here. Um, you don't even need to ask me if it's correct. Because it fits in the equation. It makes both sides true. We're all set. If you are um, listening to the video right now, right here next to that check mark, Draw a little smiley face, and I will look for that tomorrow when I'm checking your remote learning. Okay, number two. 
is multiplication. I'm going to go on to another page just so I don't run out of space. Number two, multiplication. Okay, and my equation is 10x equals 140. We're going to put over here, this is one of those invisible time signs. When we have that number, that coefficient, right next to our variable, um, they leave that little dot out. It becomes an invisible time sign. So anytime we have that coefficient right next to our variable, that's always going to be multiplication. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it down here. 10x, I'm going to put that little dot back in. 10 times x equals 140. So they multiplied. So to undo that multiplication, we need to do the opposite on both sides of our equation. So we need to go divided by 10, divided by 10. So 10 divided by 10, that's going to cancel out. That's just going to give me a 1x. And then 140 divided by 10, that gives me 14. Okay. So 1x is just x, and 140 divided by 10 is 14. Now I just need to do my check and make sure that we're that I'm correct. I guess not so much we because, yeah, I'm the one doing them right now. You'll have your chance in a minute. Okay, so the check, um, I have 10x equals 140. I need to write this as 10 times 14 equals 140. I can't just write this as 1014. Um, I do have to put that dot back in when I'm plugging it back in. Okay, so 10 times 14, oh, that does give me 140, so I'm going to check it off. I know that my answer is correct. And if you are listening at this point, draw a little star next to that um, check mark. Thank you very much. Number three is subtraction. And our subtraction example is 3 equals n minus 6. So we took our mystery number n, we took 6 away from it, and we're left with 3. So to undo that, we're going to have to add that 6 back on. So I'm going to rewrite this. 3 equals n minus 6. And I need to add that 6 back on, and I need to do it to both sides of my equation. Okay. So on my left side, 3 plus 6 gives me 9. On my right side, I have n minus 6, then plus 6. That part gives me 0. If I take 6 away and then put it back, I'm left with what I started with. I'm just going to put a little 0 there. So that's actually n minus 0, which is just n. So 9 equals n. All right. Oops, I was supposed to switch back to red there. Pretend that's red. Okay. So then I'm going to do my check. 3 equals 9 minus 6. Let's see, 9 minus 6, that does give me 3. So I'm going to put my check mark. I know that I got it right. Um, if you are listening at this point, just write a yup right there, Y-U-P, exclamation point. Thank you. And our last example, number 4, is addition. All right, so our example is 9 plus n equals 15. So they took the mystery number n, they added 9 to it, they ended up with 15. Um, now, we know that with addition and multiplication, too, we can switch the order. So this kind of, um, I'm going to rewrite this as n plus 9 equals 15. Because then it's easier to see I started with n, I added 9, I got 15. Okay, so um, this doesn't really matter. It's just a little easier to read it that way. So n plus 9 equals 15. So they added, we need to subtract that 9 from both sides. So minus 9, and when I say both sides, I mean both sides of my equal sign. Minus 9. Okay, so n 
if I add nine and then take that nine away, that just gives me zero. So I'm left on the left side with just n. And then 15 minus nine gives me six. So n equals six. Messed up my color scheme again. That's supposed to be back in red. <sighs> Can't win them all. Okay, so then I need to do my check. Um, so I'm going to plug in 6 for n. So 6 plus 9 equals 15. 6 plus 9, that does give me 15. If you are listening at this point, write the word correct next to there. Thank you very much. Okay, and then I have four problems that you are going to try on your own. So when you come to class tomorrow, these should not be blank, okay? I'm going to just put them up on my screen. So you're going to label this try on your own. You're going to pause this video um, to write down these four problems. And then you're going to try them on your own. You're going to come, pa come back to class um, with those done. Okay. So we're going to go through, or you're going to go through all the steps we just did in our examples. So use the notes you just took. Okay. So this first one, we have n divided by 14. This is 2 times x. This is n minus 6, and this is x plus 5. All right, so you're going to finish those, and uh, I will see you next time.